All right, just by looking at this, it looks bright pink. It doesn't look dirty, it looks clean. So it should be good, right? Well, wrong. All right, this coolant looks nice and pink, nice and clean, does not look dirty. Should be good, right? Well, wrong. There's one thing that you forgot, acidity, which can cause major damage to your coolant system, your hoses, the metal pipes, and cause corrosion and whatnot. So basing it off of color alone isn't the right way. So how shall we test this? Ah, with Phoenix Systems coolant and brake, fluid test strips as you can see here that comes with a strip with markers that tells you if your uh, coolant or brake fluid has high amounts of acidity if your pH levels are too low uh, it's also good for your brake fluid uh, I had another video testing out the water content so what that uh, little meter doesn't test is acidity so that's why we have this here to be using this on all three of our three of my cars and seeing if I need to replace the coolant let's go check it out all right let's see here we got the Phoenix systems coolant and brake test strips let's look at the instructions here dip coolant into coolant tank below 140 shake off excessive fluid within five minutes compare the colors all right and your brake fluid let's see here same step dip it and wait 90 seconds turn the brake fluid brake shape is recommended with dot three yeah most modern cars are like that let's open this baby up ah need to get a scissor let's go all right let's open this baby up all right each one comes individually wrapped which is nice and then you got the card here to test and compare your strip color and see if you'll need some replacement. All right, we'll start off with the Toyota Tacoma. And uh, yeah, let's head over there. All right, we're here at the car. So this is what the strip looks like. Each come individually uh, packed. So to avoid contamination, left side would be the brake fluid test strip and the right side would be the coolant. So considering this thing is deep, I'm gonna have to use some needle nose pliers to get that in there. Let's see. Oh wow. Hopefully I can get that dipped. Let's see. Alright. Got it here. So let's leave it here. And it says here, do not test when hot. And wait 30 seconds. Alright, to compare. Let's see here. And find me to turn correct or replace the coolant. All right, looks like a dark green, probably at like a nine, looks like. So, so far, mm, let me see, the left side glycol level. All right, looks like it's about 60%, so that's good. And the bottom the acidity level is about 9%. So, this coolant looks good. All right, let's go test out the other cars. All right, we're here at the Q50. Let's pop this thing open. All right, let's look at the fluid. It looks blue-ish, green-ish. So uh, this car has 70,000 miles on it. So I'm not sure when the last time uh, this fluid has ever been changed. I mean, I topped it off before. All right, let's dip this in there. off all right let's leave that right there wait 30 seconds and see if it's good all right it's about 30 seconds here glycol percentage level seems to be at 100 percent acidity level seems to be at, at about eight or nine so you know considering uh i'm pretty sure this is probably the original uh coolant since new 2014 uh, I have not changed the fluid I've only topped it off seems like it's still good for another who knows when so I guess I'll be checking it out next year or the year after looks good now let's go check out that Honda Pilot 
All right, we're at the Honda Pilot with a new test strip. Let's go test out that fluid. All right, take that out real quick. Put that on the card. All right, let's put this back on and let's go check it out. All right, we're back with the results. Looks really good. Whoops. Looks like it's at the highest level, 11, and glycol level, it is at 100. So this coolant is good. All right, now that we've measured the coolant and it looks good, let's go check out that uh, brake fluid and see uh, the corrosion level of it is. All right, this is the brake fluid. Let's get that in there. Shake it out, shake it off. All right, let's see the corrosion level. Says wait 90 seconds. All right, let's wait here. All right, it's been 90 seconds. The Toyota Tacoma still looks slight pinkish. I'd say around uh, 10 ppm uh, brake fluid corrosion level. So it's still pretty good. Still has a lot of life left. So I'm not worried about that. All right, we're at the Q50. Let's go check that brake fluid and see if it's good. All right, let's take that out. Instruction says to wait 90 seconds. So. All right, now let's compare the results of the Q50. Yikes. All right, looks like a, a 30 ppm corrosion level on the Q50, so it's nearing a fluid replacement. All right, we're at the Honda. Let's get a brand new strip here. Remember, bottom is, white part is brake fluid. Let's go. Oh, there's a filter in there. Let's take that out. Ooh. So this car has around 65,000 miles. Uh, I don't believe there's ever been brake fluid service. Oh, it's already uh, pink that fast. I believe it. It's almost, well, due. Right, let's put this cap back on. All right. Let's compare. Jeez, look at that. It's not even 90 seconds yet and it's already at a hundred or possibly 200. Let's go check out that fluid. Like I said, 65,000 miles on it. It looked pretty dirty too. So let's get this filter out. Ooh, yeah, that looks bad. All right, well, other than uh, visual inspection and uh, actual test, we know that this car it is due. All right, so as you can see here, the Pilot definitely needs a brake fluid replacement. Uh, I used the digital tester to test the moisture level. It came back good, but uh, did not pick up the corrosion levels that the test strips did. So the Honda Pilot is definitely due for a replacement. Uh, otherwise, I would have not have known and would have kept it going. But uh, good thing these test strips exist. If you want to check these out, I got a link in my description to go get some. It would definitely be helpful if you uh, have no history of maintenance on the car and have no idea when the fluids were changed or if they need changing. So it's a great useful tool for when you're out there buying cars. Uh, yeah, hopefully this product will help you out like it did for me. And thank you guys for watching.